Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a loading screen in Roblox Studio. So, the first thing we're going to do is insert a GUI. We're going to insert a screen GUI. And then we're going to call that screen GUI loading screen. And we're going to turn on ignore GUI inset. And we're going to turn off reset on spawn. Then we're going to add a frame in. And we're going to call it main frame. We're going to make it the size 1, 0, 1, 0. I'm going to make the background transparency 1. And then in this main frame, I'm just going to add a play button. So add a text button. And then you're going to change the size, make sure it's scaled so you can make it 0.3,0 and 0.2,0. And you can resize it to however big you like. And then I'm just going to design it to make it look a little better. So I'm going to add some UI stroke. I'm going to add a UI corner. And I'm going to add a UI gradient. And then I'm just going to make sure it all looks good. And then I'm going to make sure the text scaled is enabled. I'm going to change the font face to Ubuntu, make it bold, and then I'm just going to change the text to play. I am also going to turn off auto button color. And then in the workspace, first of all, I'm going to add a part. And I'm going to call this camera part. I'm going to set the transparency to 1. And I'm going to make sure anchor's enabled. And then I'm just going to move this into the air. And I'm just going to make it face something. So I'll just make it face down. And that way, we're going to set the camera. So when the camera loads, you're just going to be looking down this way. And then we're going to add some blur. So if you go into lighting and you add a blur blur effect there you go and now i'm going to change the name of that to loading screen blur and then i'm turn off enabled and then now we can turn the visibility of this mainframe to false and now in this loading screen screen gui i'm going to add a local script so now we're in this local script i'm going to make some variables so first of all i'm going to make a variable for the mainframe so i'll say local frame equals script.parent.mainframe and then I'm gonna make a variable for the blur, so local blur equals game dot lighting, loading screen blur. And then I'm gonna make a variable for the player's camera, so local camera equals game dot workspace dot current camera. And then local camera part, I'm gonna set that equal to game dot workspace dot camera part. And then I'm also, and then I'm gonna say blur dot enabled equals true. And I'm gonna say frame dot visible equals true and then I'm gonna say repeat wait with the pair of brackets until game colon is loaded in a pair of brackets so what this is doing is it's gonna wait until the game's fully loaded and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the player's camera to be scriptable and then be in the position of this camera part here so how we can do that is we're gonna say camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable and then we're going to do camera dot c frame equals camera part dot c frame so now if we play the game you'll be able to see when we load in our camera's up here and we've got this play button but currently when you click the play button nothing happens so we want to make it so when you click the play button this all goes away but we also want to make it so before you actually press play, you can't run around, because as you can see now, I can currently run around and jump, and I can do whatever I like, but we want to stop that from happening. So how we can do that is just click stop. So now we want to make it wait until the player's got a character. So the way we can do that is repeat wait, and pair brackets again, until game.players.localplayer.character. And now, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see everything. I'm going to make a variable for the player's character, so I'll call it local character equals game.players.localplayer.character. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the character's walk speed and the character's jump powers both to zero. But before I'm going to do that, I'm going to click on the starter player. And in this character jump settings, I'm going to make sure character use jump power is set to true. So now what I'm going to do is character.humanoid.walkspeed equals zero. And then character dot humanoid dot jump power equals zero. So now, 
what he's doing is saying make sure the character can't walk or jump so now we need to make it so all this goes away and you can walk and jump again when the player presses the play how we're going to do that is say frame.text button dot mouse button one click dot one connect function and then open up that function and what we're going to do is we're going to say character dot humanoid dot walk speed 16 and then character dot humanoid dot jump power equals 50 and now we want to make this blur go away and we want to make this play button go away as well so how we can do that is if we go back into the script uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to say blur dot enabled equals false and then frame dot visible equals false and now one last thing is we're going to make the player's camera go back to their character so how we can do that is camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom and now we can just play our game we can test our game now so if you just click the play button and then we wait for our game to load and we can see that here we've got our loading screen and then when we click play we're back to our character and we're back in the game we can walk and jump now and yeah so that is how you make a loading screen in roblox studio if you found this helpful then please subscribe and i'll see you next time goodbye